started here. So hello and thank you for joining the latest in VoiceCom's webinar series. Today we have Otter Plus Pop Never Stop Popping. If you haven't joined us before, my name is Jen and I'm the product manager at VoiceCom, so I'm responsible for bringing you the products you'll be learning about today and a lot more. Uh, today we are here with one of my best buddies in the industry, Gina Morris from Otter Products, who will be going over the super cool new line that we'll be shipping from VoiceCom in just a few short weeks. We're all super pumped about this awesome collaboration. Um, you know, as you guys know, this, these are two of the largest brands in the industry, OtterBox and PopSockets. So I'm sure you guys are excited too. Thanks, Jen. Hi, everybody. Um, this is Gina Morish. I have been at Otter for over seven years now. So this is really exciting for me to get to present something that I've had the opportunity to work on from the ground up. And I hope you guys are just as excited as we are. So, a little bit about Otter Plus Pop and the how and why. So Otterbox and PopSockets are both Colorado-based companies, which begun our instant chemistry together. And it's been a really awesome partnership for both of us. We both saw strengths in each other. Otterbox seeing that PopSocket really reaches that younger demographic that we don't typically reach and PopSocket seeing Otter as that older demographic that they don't typically reach. And so together we developed this product that we felt would really widen our range of demographics for both companies. So jumping in to maybe the Symmetry series. So when we went into development on this product, we, we knew Symmetry was gonna be our go-to series for this um, product. Um, and as we'll go into later on, we also added Defender, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But when we were in development, we were going through a lot of the pain points with pop sockets and really trying to solve for those issues. So what we found most complaints were about were pocketability and Qi wireless compatibility. So we had a lot of consumers who really loved the functionality of a pop socket, but they couldn't get it in their pocket. or what we, we developed this phenomenon called phishing where you, the consumer would stick the case in their purse and then pull it out and pull out their headphones, their keys, all sorts of, sorts of other things. So there was a lot of frustration, which ended a lot of people's um, idea to continue to use a pop socket. So with the integration of the pop socket into the case, the pop socket is recessed a significant amount so that it's not catching on your pocket or catching things in your purse when you're pulling it out. Um, with Qi wireless compatibility, a lot of consumers, because there was so much space between the phone battery and the Qi wireless charging coils, most consumers were having to take off their pop socket in order to charge, which was adding a layer of frustration. And then the third and final thing we found was a lot of people were complaining about the adhesive, especially those consumers who were in a humid climate. The humidity would cause the adhesive to fall off and people would end up dropping their phone because their pop grip popped off the back of their phone or case. So when we developed the product, we again really aimed to solve these three issues. And we believe we've created a product that does in fact solve these problems. The other great pro um, key selling points about this product is that it still allows for the kickstand functionality and it enables easy grip. But it also allows the consumer to change out their pop top with their case. Um, and it really helps tell PopSocket's new story about their swappable pop tops. So it was just a really great opportunity and everything really came together really well. Um, up next, we'll go into our symmetry portfolio. So as we said, we really wanted to play on the demographics that both companies reach. So we came into this product and hit the ground running. We, hadn't, we didn't really get the chance to validate in market like we usually do with all of our products. So when we created this portfolio, we gave it colors and graphics that we thought would hit the practical mature males and females, but as well as those Gen Z and millennial consumers who really like their products to be loud, colorful, and fashionable. So what you'll see here are our black and blue options. We have some muted pinks and purples, and then our really kind of off the wall graphics that we were hoping would catch that younger consumer. 
And moving into this, so this is going to kind of show you what this product looks like in the box and the ability that you, you as well as consumers have to customize it. So in the box, you will have a symmetry series and a plain pop top that complements the color or graphic on the case. The reason for this being is we really wanted to encourage that upsell for consumers to buy an additional matching pop top. And so in the coming slides, we'll show you what this looks like in merchandising. And it's a really cool story. And the product really does to sell itself. Um, but as you can see here, you can customize the case to your personality. If you like skulls, if you like flowers, if you wanted to just add more marble to the case, there's all of these options that consumers have. And it's just really exciting. And we have really enjoyed seeing the combinations that we thought would do well but what our consumers are actually choosing. So up next is our Defender series. We get a lot of questions about Defender, especially because this seems like a younger demographic play. Um, when we were in development, we did a lot of consumer studies before going into production. And we knew that Symmetry would be probably our key player, but we wanted to see what consumers would think if we put it on another series that we offer. So we tossed in Defender knowing that it's one of our top series across the board. And what we found was that consumers were really surprised and delighted by this product. The Defender series, because it's already so big, allows for even more pocketability and it lays completely flat. And it really, what we found was those consumers who weren't typical pop so socket users really loved the Defender because it was very, muted and practical. We heard a lot of parents saying, I love the pop socket, I love the idea of it, but I'm embarrassed by it because it's so loud and my kids use it and I don't want my friends to see me using a pop socket that my kids use. So this kind of solves that problem of you can, can't really see the pop socket, but it's still there for functionality purposes if you want it. So once again, these lay flat, they're also Qi wireless compatible and still have that kickstand functionality. One key thing here with the Defender is that our holster is not included with this product. We didn't anticipate consumers wanting both a belt clip and a pop socket. So what we've done is we've put a voucher in the box of the Defender series for a free belt clip should a consumer want to buy one. And that ships to them at no cost. And um, yeah, it's there if they want it. So moving into the Defender portfolio. Once again, this is for a very practical consumer. So we really tried to go safe with these colors, knowing that there's an opportunity to customize it and add a little more flair with the pop top. So um, the next slide, I'll show you that here, what this case can look like with a pop top that's a little bit more fun and bright. Like Symmetry Series, this will also come with a solid color pop top to encourage that upsell in store. So device coverage. Right now we cover everything from the 7.8 up to the XR on Symmetry Series. Same goes for the Defender, but Defender we also added the new Galaxy phones. We get a lot of questions of why we don't do Symmetry for Samsung. And the reason being is that Samsung has a very large camera space on the back of the phone. And when we try to manufacture Symmetry Series with that large camera cutout and a pop grip, it just didn't look right and it didn't really make sense. The pop grip ended up kind of getting in the way of the camera. And we just, we decided to launch Defender first to see how it goes because we know that our Samsung consumer typically does buy that Defender Series case. And with the fender, because the, the case is already so big, we had a little bit more room to play with the pop grip placement, um, which allowed, you know, it stopped those issues that we were having with the pop grip getting in the way of the camera. So what's really awesome for you guys is that you get to sell it, this product, after we've had a chance to kind of validate in the market. So this is just kind of an overview of what we're hearing from the consumers. 
they're excited about the colors. They can't wait for more to be released. Some, these are, we're now tackling first time OtterBox buyers, which is really exciting. We have that connotation around our brand that we're too big and too bulky, but this product has really catapulted us into those consumers, showing that we're not big and bulky. We can be fashionable, we can be fun, and our consumers are really loving it. And I think our consumers are really also excited about the partnership for those who know both brands. So some key things for you guys to embrace when you're out selling. Embrace the fact that it's flush and fits into pockets. It's built in. There's no fuss with the adhesive. It's wireless charging compatible. It's compatible with the new swappable pop grips and pop tops. And it's the merge of two great products and brands. Like Jen said, both of these brands are the top in the market and it just kind of makes sense and our consumers are really excited about it. So I'm going to show you a little bit of sell through here just so you guys can kind of get a picture of what we're seeing in the market for those partners that we've launched with. So what you're seeing here is one of our key retailers. Their sell-through, they launched it back in January, and so this is their sell-through up to this point. And you'll notice that the graphics are doing really well, which leans in heavily to the fact that our consumers are mo mainly female at this point. But we don't want to distract from the fact that we also have males coming in. Our black Symmetry and Black Defender are also selling better than we had originally anticipated. So the next bit of sell through is from one of our key carrier partners who we anticipated to not have graphics sell very well, but as you can see, our graphics are killing it and that's really, really exciting for us to see. Um, and again, you can see that, that that female consumer is really coming in and gravitating to this product. So the key takeaway here for OtterBox, this is the first time in history that black is not our top seller. Um, I'm sure you all know that black and black defender are what sells, but for the first time in our history, once again, this is, we're really excited to share the story that colors and graphics are really where the market is leaning. So that's very exciting for us. Moving into in-store merchandising, um, here's just some examples of how uh, some of our key retailers and carriers are setting the product in store. It's really important in order for the story to be told to have the pop crib grips next to the cases on peg. Um, on peg or in a, a shipper is great. Um, we also have realized that we're, we're not telling the swappable story as well as we need to, so we're really working on those assets and really just lean in with your OtterBox salesperson or your VoiceCom salesperson and ask, and we will do whatever we can to make sure this story is, story is being told correctly in the store. So I will leave you with top three tips. Lead with color. Obviously black is a safe option, but as you can see, we're seeing that graphics and colors are selling really well, and we really want this to be something that goes after the incremental consumer, and the incremental consumer being somebody who not only buys multiple cases, but also in, buys multiple pop grips. And finally, tell the story in merchandise. Once again, we're here to help. We want to be your allies, and we want to make sure this story is successful in your stores. So just keep us in the loop, and we're, we'll do whatever we can to make sure you guys um, see success with this product. And that's all I have. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Gina. That was a really great presentation. Mm -hmm. um, if uh, you're giving away any samples to your lovely co-host, uh, that, that gem one is really nice. But anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. I do, I do love my lemon one, though. That one's cool. Um, mm. All right, cool. So we did have a couple of questions, um, mostly just compliments rolling in. So I guess she covered a lot of what we needed to cover. But uh, we had a couple people just saying that they think they look really good and they're excited about the Qi compatibility. Um, speaking on that though, uh, is there anything you wanted to touch on with, with Qi compatibility? Yes. Um, Qi compatibility, we have gotten a lot of questions about whether it truly is Qi com wireless compatible. And so 
it is the only exceptions that we're seeing is that if a customer is buying one of those premium pop tops that's metal or has it's like raised in any way shape or form yeah then we're having um, an issue with Qi wireless compatibility but pop sockets also states on their website that those pop grips may have an issue with Qi wireless compatibility yeah, more of the story, the, other, the further you get away or the more materials you add, the tougher it is for the signals to get through. Exactly. And we only had so much time to test Qi wireless chargers, and we don't have the ability to ch test every charger in the market. So the other thing that can affect Qi wireless charging is just um, the level at which the output of power that the Qi wireless pad has the ability to push out. So if it's got kind of a weak signal, that with the added pop top can cause an issue with you wireless charging. But if they're buying from our premium power partners from Voicecom, then they should be okay. <laughs> exactly. Little little plug to my power partners without shouting any names. Um, I'm getting my <laughs> getting myself yelled at. <laughs> All right. So a couple of questions did roll in here. Let's go into them. Um, Garrett is really gunning for a for a prize here. He had a couple of questions. First, he said, how would you position this for the customer who prefers the standard symmetry case? So we, that's a great question. What we do know is that symmetry sells really well, and we do anticipate a little bit of cannibalization, and we're okay with that. It's just, it's more up to you as a salesperson and your customer if they're willing to take that cannibalization and try it out. I mean, the really exciting thing is that it does sell really well. And if um, there's colors that are maybe slow moving on symmetry right now, maybe toss in a pop, an otter plus pop and see how that does. Um, it's also a great selling point of the incremental consumer of somebody who's going to buy additional pop grips and a potentially already have a case and they're going to buy this one on top of that. Okay, cool. Uh, T. Binkard wanted to know, and this is kind of a pop socket question, but I think we should be able to uh, tackle it between the two of us. Will there be additional pops available as well or any compatibility to older pop sockets? So for additional pops, yes, we will have, uh, Voicecom is, is carrying a full array of the new pop grips, um, which are fully compatible with these cases. Compatibility to older pop sockets. Did you want to speak to that, Gina? Uh, yeah, so these aren't compatible with the older pop sockets. If you'll notice um, on the integrated case, the actual hub that the pop socket fits on is already there. So any of the pop sockets that are not swappable, they won't be compatible with the case, unfortunately. Yeah, exactly. Um, the mechanism, you kind of like push it and twist it. It's really cool. I kind of likened it to uh, like a, a child-proof medicine bottle or something. It's, it's a really neat mechanism. Yeah, exactly. So Garrett wants to know, are there any, pl I'm sorry, are there any plans to expand the line to Google Pixels or, you know, any other OEMs for that matter? Um, not at this time. It's an option that we're exploring for sure. Uh, the difficulty we're having between pop sockets and OtterBox is when you add an additional OEM that makes it a three-way partnership, which is really difficult. Um, but we're working on it. We have been approached by Google, and so we're kind of working through that as we speak. Cool. Thank you. Uh, have you seen any issues with durability, like the pop sockets falling off? We haven't. The only issue we've seen thus far is, which is another story that we're trying to figure out how to tell, is how to get the pop socket off. Um, we've seen a lot of people just grab it and pull it and rip it off, which is a problem. Um, so when you're selling this in, make sure you can really tell that story um, to your salespeople that it, it's like Jen said, a medicine bottle, push and pull and push and twist, excuse me. Um, but up to this point, no, we haven't seen any durability claims, which is great. Yeah, you guys are leaders in that, so I'm sure that was tested front, back, and side to side. 
Um, <laughs> one more question I see here. Uh, when these launch, will there be any sort of contest for volume sales? My team is very excited to start selling these. Um, for that one, I would recommend that you get in touch with your voice comm sales rep. That, that probably wouldn't be something that Otterbox would do directly, but I don't, I don't know if there's anything else you could uh, say to that, Gina. Yeah, at this time, I don't know that we're doing anything, but again, if you work with your voice comm salesperson and voice comm works back with us, I'm sure we can put something together. Figure something out, yeah. Okay, so Garrett, if you, um, if you don't know who your sales rep is, I can, I can help you out with that. But judging by the quality of questions, you're, uh, you're very seasoned. You probably know who you're working with. Oh, something else just, oh, he said, thank you so much. Our, our rep is Rich Bickle, the king of cell phone yeah. accessories. <laughs> Rich. His, his court goes far and wide. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, so those are all of the questions that I see today. Um, Gina, I really want to thank you a lot for joining joining this with me today. Um, always, always happy to collaborate with you, but this product is so cool and, you know, we're all buzzing. I, I sit near the sales guys and I hear them talking about this stuff all day, so we're all really excited. Um, glad to get the customers looped in on this too. Um, so remember, all of these products are available through VoiceCom in the next couple of weeks. Um, Pop grips should be available very shortly as well. So if you, uh, like she said, it's good to sell them next to each other. If you, if you want to pick up a couple different styles for them to mix and match, uh, definitely a really good upsell. So if you have any questions or anything you think of after the fact, just shoot me an email. My email address is webinars at myvoicecom.com and I'll make sure you get taken care of. I hope you enjoyed and good luck to everybody with the giveaway drawing. Thanks guys. Thanks guys.